hello welcome back to my channel this is lenti so with nani today i'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful ball dress and you won't believe that i made this ball dress with just one yard of two one yard of net fabric okay and it's this full so i'm going to teach you this little trick okay just one yard just one yard of two net all right so that's what i used in making this i was actually in a very in a rush to make this dress okay so i just had a limited fabric i just had only one yard of net one yard of two and i made it happen so i, I have this applique and this is my two it's just one yard just one yard guys just one yard all right so i have my satin okay for my underlay on my entire lining okay i also have this nude net that i'll use for the upper part my hard net and some lining okay so i will just go ahead and show us how to draft this okay so previous previously i uh, made a video on how to make uh, an umbrella dress for a baby girl okay so i also drafted the basic bodice pattern from the beginning okay so you can just see that video to know how to draft the basic body pattern but i'll also be teaching us how to make this okay so my half flat is 8.75 i was making nine inches for my half flat then i'll add half inch for seam allowance to join the upper part to the lower part okay so the next thing will be to measure the shoulder um half of the shoulder measurement which is 4.5 for the for the child i'm working for and the neck width is 3.5 sorry 2.5 and the neck depth for the front is also 2.5 okay so i'll go connect it okay neck width 2.5 neck depth 2.5 then from the shoulder line i'll come down by half inch from my shoulder slope connect it to the neck width okay so you connect it like so then the next thing will be to mark your armhole length for this project i'm working with 5.5 okay so 5.5 becomes my chest line i also mark um, half of the um, shoulder measurement at that point too just to get my line to make my armhole like so so I'll just make sure that it, i have a straight line at that point making sure that whatever i have on the shoulder i have the same thing on the chest line okay so i'll connect like so and this line is now my chest line so on this chest line i'll take half of the chest measurement the chest is 22 divided by 4 plus 1 inch seam allowance the same thing for the half length i'll measure half of the waist measurement quarter of the waist measurement that's the waist divided by four plus one inch seam allowance then i'll connect now I'll measure what i have left at the chest line at the armhole or the shoulder area mark half of that then come inward by half inch then i'll draft my armhole okay i've already drafted this pattern in my previous video i'm just doing it for those of us that might be seeing uh, this video for the first time or might be seeing how to make a basic body for a child for the first time now for my yoke i would come down by 4.5 inches from the shoulder 4.5 inches that's what i want to use as the yoke okay this dress would have a yoke at the upper part and at the back okay so i'll come down by 4.5 inches for my yoke right so at this point i would cut out like so just that part the upper part becomes the yoke now what i'll do next would be to add half inch seam allowance to the shoulder area for joining the shoulders together and i'll also add half inch around the neckline and the neck depth and the neck width okay that's seam allowance to sew um up your pattern all right so i'll just go connect it like so and like so all right so remember my yoke is four point i kept that by 4.5 for my yoke so by the time i cut this out i'll get i'll then use the skin tone net to cut the yoke okay so i'll just go cut this out like so cut the neckline the shoulder right so then i'll cut to this upper part is the yoke okay and you add half inch to the yoke when you transfer to your fabric half inch to the yoke half inch to the lower part okay that'll be your seam allowance so i'll go and cut through the yoke i'll keep this aside then we'll go draft the back now the back is the same thing for the front the only difference is, is that we'll have a um, 1.5 inches zip allowance at the back okay so i'll mark my 1.5 inches zip allowance from uh, the top to the lower part like so i'll just go connect it in a straight line 
like this okay so and this is my starting point okay so what i'll do is just going to cut out this excess that i have so that will focus on the remaining pattern to make the lower part okay so i'll just go draft exactly what i've drafted on the front exactly the same thing that's why i'm going fast okay the difference is the neck depth the neck depth for the back is one inch but we maintain the same neck width of 2.5 inches so the only difference from the back is the 1.5 inches zip allowance and that the neck width is one inch so this right here is my chest line okay i just had to highlight that area so the chest line i come down by one inch or 1.5 depending on how low you want the yoke at the back to be so i'll be connecting the yoke at the back to middle of the armhole okay to that midpoint of the armhole so this would be the yoke if you want um one inch after uh, the chest line but i want to do 1.5 inches after the chest line okay i want mine to be a little bit deeper so this is what i'll do connect slant it to the armhole to half of the armhole then connect the zipper line so this upper part is my yoke then i'll go cut it up and add half inch to the upper part and half inch to the lower part okay so that i'll use it to join so i'll be cutting through that point then i'll add my half inch allowance to the shoulder and also half inch allowance to the neck width okay you extend the neck width to the seam allowance to the zip allowance all right so i just cut it out that's the only difference between the front and the back then i'll cut through the yoke like so you can see so the upper part is the yoke and the lower part would be the main fabric right so i'll go keep it aside and transfer um the pattern to the fabric okay so before i do that i also go and cut out my two now depending on the le length of the dress you're working with so whatever you have as the length of your dress you're going to subtract the half inch from it so after getting the length of my dress okay so you can see i folded my two like i folded it into four okay across the length of the two so from the half length i want 13 inches after the half length okay so i'm marking 13 inches you know the tool is 60 inches long so i just folded the whole one yard that i have then i'll mark 13 inches along the 60 inches length okay so i think i'll have 13 inches just in four places so this is what i have left now up to 13 inches so i'll go cut it out like so keep this aside it's not part of it i want 13 inches length from the half length okay so this is 13 inches this is 13 inches this is 13 inches right so you can see i have four pieces one two three and four okay so i'll go and join one i'll go and join two together Draw one 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 side join this other side then i'll gather it together okay then this part i wouldn't be needing it maybe i wouldn't be needing this part but you can use it to style your dress maybe attach it to the armhole a sleeve whatever you want now so i'm transferring the pattern to my fabric so i've placed the center front on my fabric folding it into two okay you keep it on fold so i've added half inch to the upper part like i explained earlier that you add half inch to the upper part so i folded the, the front the fabric into two they place the pattern on it added my half inch and i'll cut it out okay so then i'll cut two of these i need one as the main fabric and the other one as lining so i've also placed the back pattern pinned it down then i'm adding half inch to the upper part to sew the yoke to the main dress okay so this is how you add your half inch allowance all the way around so i'll go also and cut it out like so yes so i'll then go and trim off the armhole and my half inch so what i'll do is to notch the zip allowance so that when you're joining you will know where to join from all right so the next thing will be to cut the skin tone net for the yoke okay i'm using this skin tone net to cut the yoke right so what i'll do is to fold it into two first fold it into two first then also fold it into another two into two again all right because i need to cut two pieces for each part of the yoke okay so the front yoke will be two so i use one to turn the other you know the net is the, the, the two net is very very light so you need to cut two okay to give it weight so at the down part i'm adding half inch you can see i added half inch to the lower part so that's the half inch i used to attach this yoke to the to the lower part of the dress okay so because i folded my fab my tool into four i have two pieces for the front okay 
so it will help me have a little bit of weight then i use one to turn one okay so i use half inch to turn the neckline okay that's the allowance that i give you remember i added half inch to the neckline so i'll fold again to cut that of the back so you can see i folded into four the first two folds and another fold then i also place it like so then add half inch you can see i'm adding half inch like so to the yoke then i'll maintain the allow the pattern okay i'm only only adding the half inch to the lower part like so then i'll cut it out like that okay so the zip allowance area will also be open so i'll have two pieces for the yoke two pieces for one side and two pieces for the other side remember it's zip this is the zipper area okay so it means when i open it up i'll have four i also went ahead to notch the zip allowance okay on the yoke as well as you can see right so when i open it out i'll have um the two pieces for the back so this is it i have two pieces so i'll go use one to turn one with half inch you turn the neckline and the zipper area now for the satin okay the underlay because the net wouldn't just be what we'll have at the bottom we also need satin okay for the underlay of the net now so what you will do is whatever you have as the length of your tool subtract two to three inches from it so the length of my tool is 13 inches so i'll take away three inches and i will be left with 10 inches okay so i folded it into two okay i'll go open it up like so so one would be my lining okay then one will be the underlay for the two all right so if you're wondering what the length of the fabric or the width of the fabric is you're going to multiply your waist measurement by three whatever you get you're going to gather it up okay to the waist measurement of the child okay so that's the the length of the fabric all the way down right so the next thing to cut is my hard net okay so i also fold into remember my half length my half net my hard net hard net sorry i'm making use of half yard okay so what you do is make sure that your half your hard net is also two inches shorter than the underlay okay so i open it up like so i'll also have two pieces right so i'll keep it aside now the next thing would be to couple up all my pieces okay so i've transferred the patterns to the fabric okay i've also cut out my two you are with me when i was doing those things so i'll show you how to sew now i've turned the neckline okay for the two okay taking to my sewing machine i had to turn with half inch all the way around then trim off the excess around the neckline trim off the excess in allowance there so i've turned the neckline so i'm going to remember i said you should cut two remember i made times two on the uh, on the lower part okay so i'm going to use one to turn the other okay one is main fabric one is lining okay so this is the upper part i'm going to place it like so on the main fabric like so then i'll go and pin it down okay this is two when you're working with two you make sure you pin it down because it's actually very light so the tendency to move around is there is very high so you make sure that the edges match okay tool is stretchy so you just make sure that the edges match then you place the other one on it okay the lining piece on it and go and stitch but just to be safe and because i'm making a tutorial i want you to understand exactly what i'm doing i'll go and pin it down okay left for me i'll just go and hold it and sew it down okay and and everything will just come out nice but i had to go and pin it down so that you can see then afterwards you also go and get the other parts pin it down as well okay then you go and stitch it with half inch remember we left half inch for the yoke and half inch for the lower part okay so that's the same allowance to join this that's why we left those allowances okay half inch for the lower part half inch for the yoke right so i'm going to stitch it down with half inch all right so i'm done so you can see what i'll do is just go and notch it all the way around just to ease the tension around that area Okay, so we don't be having bulkiness or puffiness at that area so when i turn you can see very beautiful when i turn to the back you would see there are no rough edges the, the yoke is sandwiched in between the fabric and the lining okay in as much as i'm using the same fabric as line all right so i'll go do the same thing to the back piece just get the two back yoke turn the neckline and the zip allowance okay so this is what i have i've you see the back pattern now okay so i've turned the neckline 
and the zip allowance for the two sides of the back okay so when you turn the neckline use one net to turn the other using half inch seam allowance around the neckline then you go and trim off the excess leaving the quarter of an inch for your neckline okay for as the seam allowance then you turn it to the back now that we are done with the upper part of the back i've also sewn one of the back pieces just to show you what we're going to be doing to the second piece okay so when you're done sandwiching the yoke in between the fabric and the lining you go pull it all inside and you notch it out okay so this is what it looks like when you're done so when you're done you just go and make sure that you notch all round so that it's going to relax and lay really flat okay so that you wouldn't be having puffy um edges or stitches okay so just go and notch it all around you can see the way i am notching i'm not just cutting in i'm i'm not just like making little little clips around the um round it i'm just notching like full time notching right here so that when i pull it out to the right side everything is just going to relax properly okay so you can see me pull it out now what i did was to go sew in the zip allowance first before using it to now turn the yoke because for the yoke i had already turned the zip allowance while i was turning the neckline okay so that's the that's the way to go about it i'll just go and trim out the excess al along the upper part all right so this is what you have then i'll go ahead to teach you what to do to the other side okay exactly what i've done here now you know that i've sewn my zip allowance and my neckline for the back so with half inch so i'll just go and sew on the lining and the main fabric with half inch seam allowance okay at the zipper area so i'll just go and stitch down half inch at the zip area okay so i'm done doing that so what i'm going to do is to pull it all out right so this is it i've sewn the zip area for the fabric and lining okay so i'll just open it up then put or sandwich the tool or the yoke in between okay in between the zipper allowance okay in between where you've sewn with that half inch for the zip allowance okay so put it in between the fabric and the lining all right so what you would then do is just going to pin it all round okay pin it down all around right okay so just go and pin it down then you go and stitch it all around with half inch seam allowance remember we left half inch seam allowance for the yoke and for the lower part of the body okay so i'm done i'll go notch it all around like i also told us initially go notch it all around pull it out to the right side trim off the excess around the armhole and you have it okay so this is how i did the back now the next thing is to start coupling the front and the back together so what you do is to place them right sides facing right sides okay we want to sew the sides um, now so you separate the fabric and lining we're going to sew fabric to fabric lining to lining so you pick either of the front um sides okay either of the front side piece and one of the back piece okay so you can just pick the front left side the left side of the front and the left side of the back pin them together that's the main fabric now pin them together and go and stitch with your one inch seam allowance okay so pick one side of the front and white side one side of the back okay making sure if it's the left hand side you're working on the left you pick the left hand side you pick them together go and sew with your one inch seam allowance and do the same thing for the lining then do it for the two pieces that's how you get your um clean finishing inside so this is what i have and the inside and the outside they're looking really clean okay you would even notice which is the front and which is the back because of my beautiful inseam that i have done right so the next thing would be to join the shoulder area so what i would do is to open up one part okay either the front or the back anyone just open up the shoulder seam then place the other shoulder into it Flip it together, go pin it down and sew with half inch. Remember, we gave half inch seam allowance for the shoulder for the shoulder joining. Okay, so you just go pin it down, go and stitch it down with half inch. You do the same thing to the other side. That way, when you're done, you have your shoulder really clean. You wouldn't be seeing your stitches outside, right? So this is how to gain your neat finishing. Okay, pull one apart, then pull the other one inside. Flip it over and go sew with your half inch shoulder joining allowance right so now that i'm done with that we'll move over to the lower side all right so what i've done is to gather 
um, my underlay that's my satin fabric i've pl- i've gathered it to the waist measurement of the child okay the waist i'm working with is 21 so um before that i had that means i have 23 on the fabric okay one is the allowance on the both ends then 21 which is the child's waist measurement so i've gathered it all around so the next thing would be to get um our hard net because that's what is going to enhance the fullness of this ball dress now if i just pleat um the hard net around the waist of the child one the hard net is longer than the um, satin another thing is just that it's going to give me bulkiness instead of fullness it's just going to make the waistline bulky and the child will just be looking like one baby masquerade okay so what i will do is to you know i have two pieces for the hard net i'll go and cut them up into two again so i cut one side into two to have four sides then i'll pleat i'll keep one one part aside then go and pleat the remaining three underneath one piece you can see what i have done here now okay remember i had two pieces of my hard net i went to cut them both in half okay so i used the remaining three when i cut them in half i now got four pieces for my hard net so i used the remaining three to pleat around one okay so that way i would have that fullness i would want at the lower part then what i'll just do is to now stitch this part to the waistline of the child okay if you have any excess just do little pleating that way you don't have bulkiness around the waist of the child okay so i try as much as possible to get fullness fullness is the key word here fullness along as in the lower part of the dress but not bulkiness at the waist of the child so you can see what i've done just little pleats at the place that uh, was too much around the waistline so when i place it like so you can see the bounciness you can see the way it's bouncing right but then the waistline of the child is not bulky that's the thing to do now for my tool i've joined it together remember i have four pieces of nets of two nets so i joined two together so what i'll just do is to go and gather this one around the waistline of the child then also get the other one and also gather it around the waistline both of them are going to be separate okay you first gather one round then you gather the other one round the waistline or you can gather them separately then pin them directly on the waistline and stitch it down all right so you can see that i'm done gathering and i've stitched it around the waistline so you can see it's separate this is the first one and this is the second one right so look at the inside looking very full okay because of my hard net and when i place it back to the right side it is bouncy and wavy so with one yard of two i was able to achieve this much fullness using just my one yard of nets of two nets my half yard of um hard net and my satin now for the upper bodies i'm going to place it together and notch the midpoint okay then for the lower bodies i'll do the same thing as well fold it together and also get the midpoint now because i have lots of gathering at that point i'm not going to notice that you don't rip apart your gathering so what i'll do is to fold it together use my hands to place in between at the half at the midpoint okay then come in with my chalk and make a mark at that point open it up and also make sure that the mark is highlighted you can see very well that this is the midpoint so what i'll do is to open up the midpoint for the upper bodies and pin it on the midpoint of the lower bodies that way you would have them all matching up like so so you pin it down the midpoints matching each other so i'll just go and pin it all around now guys if you're watching till now i'm your friend noni i teach how to make baby dresses adult dresses different types of dresses that you want to learn how to make so now when i'm done pinning i just went to stitch it with half inch um seam allowance so this is what the outside looks like so beautiful so, so you can see it's standing like on its own like this so beautiful you can see so this is the upper the outer side this is what it looks like very very beautiful very beautiful i'm sure your baby would love this all right so this is it you can see so when i turn it to the back you can see what i have right so i would open it up you can see the inside now you don't want to leave this dress like this because one the hard net is strong uh, and it's going to 
prick uh, the child you also want to make sure you pin pick out your pins okay no make sure that no pin is hanging inside this dress so you don't hurt the child now the next thing will be to introduce the lining now i'm not using lining i'm using the same um satin that i use just to you know bring flavor and beauty to this so what i'll do is just go and pleat it round the waistline of the child now i'm pinning it okay let the right side of the satin be facing the upper part okay let it face the upper bodies then i'll go pin it down and stitch it around so that by that way when you're done sewing and you flip it over it's going to cover your stitches and cover the hardness this is what i mean you can see i pinned it towards the uh, upper bodies and i stitched it down so that when i flip it back it's going to cover um the rough edges and also cover the hard net and all of the things we've done underneath nobody's going to know they, they're not gonna know nobody's going to know what what went on all right so when i'm done with that what i'll do is just to pull them all together match the half length I want to make sure that it's matching match the zipper area then from the half length i'll come down by four inches then mark my one inch zip allowance okay they go and stitch it down from that four inches downwards to the length of the dress then afterwards i'll touch my i'll attach my zipper from that four inches upwards to the um, neckline okay so when i'm done doing that i'll then go and attach my applique so this is what it looks like really beautiful really really beautiful i must say right so um you can see my applique i pinned it down so the next thing will be to thread your needle because you'll be using your needle and thread to tack the applique down on the dress right so you can see the back you can see my zipper now at the zipper area you can see that i have little pieces of paper around that point and it's because i worked i'm working with tool at the upper part okay at the zipper allowance so because you don't want to have ruffles and your zipper area rumpling and bulging you need to place paper underneath um, the two for you to sew the zip allowance okay so that's a sewing tip and trick okay so you don't have um bulging or bulging zip allowance right okay so or bulging zippers yes so i've pinned the applique the way i want it to be okay you pin it down and admire the position of the applique to see if you like it then afterwards you just go with your hand needle and you know tack it down okay so you can see just from the inside nobody wants to see what your, people will just be wondering so nobody has to see what you're doing just make sure that your seam or your tacking is invisible enough okay so that was that's what i'm doing i'll go tack it down make sure i pull out all the thread okay if any or any part of the applique is hanging in between your thread just make sure you go pull it all out we don't want to see the thread we just want to see the gorgeous dress that you have made all right so we are designers and at the end of the day we are also magicians we can you know whip off or whip up anything just by the snap of our fingers and by the snap of my finger i made this beautiful baby ball dress with one yard of two one yard of baby nets okay and it came out this beautiful it came out so so beautiful and i hope you love you know i'm doing this because of you all right so um i hope you found this video helpful if you did give us a like give us a thumbs up share this video subscribe to my channel and this is the result of what we've just done here i hope you like it i hope you learned something new so till i see you next time i remain your friend on youtube noni i love you guys bye